What's going on guys? It's T with Quick 11 Hoops bringing you another video. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to us, liking our content. Every view counts, every like counts, every comment counts. Thank you so much. Now I can get into the video. This is of Cal State University Northridge's Matador Madness. They had a few events, catered food, free t-shirts. Potato factory, come on down. What's this sauce? We got some Chipotle, Bloody Mary ketchup, and some ranch. Okay. Delicious wedges. Hey. Yeah. Next off we had Kobe Paris interviews, we had Tavion Dawson interviews, Reggie Theus interview, Serafina Malupe interview, Terrell Gomez interview. We talked to a few players on the team, like it was just an awesome event. Shout out to everybody at Cal State University Northridge that showed up. I know this video is a little late, it was from last month, but I had to get it out before I drop all these other videos. Want to do the voiceover so nobody is like, what is this video? Anyone else that helps us, love y'all, fam. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking. Gonna bring you more stuff, gonna travel, do more things, and just thank you. We're out, man. Peace. T, how's it going, man? How you loving this right now? Uh, good experience, man. I'm just out here trying to have some fun. I'm in a little three-point shootout, so I'm trying to show my little stroke, so that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, coming out here to Cal State Northridge, you coming from Sarah High. Tell me about that progression from then to now, man. Uh, well, competition obviously is better, so Sarah prepared me very well. Coach Hurt just taught me the ways about uh, how college would be from high school. He always told me, like, it's another level, so I always work hard. So he prepared me very well, and it's just a great experience, and I feel like I matured a lot and got a lot better, and I'm ready to, uh, for the college team. So, What can you expect out of this year, man? What are you going to take away from it? Uh, well, we got a lot of young guys, and they're, they have a lot of potential. So I'm trying to be a leader out here, just help them prepare uh, for the future. So I'm, uh, it's probably my last year here. So I'm just trying to like show them like the ways of college. Like it's different. Got to work hard day in and day night. Got a busy schedule, but you can't like you got to be ready for when the game comes. So I'm trying to teach them the ways and uh, to lead by example and show them like. This is the way to go if you want to, like, go to the next level. So, yeah. yeah. Sounds good, guys. Hey, um, check him out. You're going to do the three-point contest or the dunk contest? My contest. So, I'm going to show my, my stroke. I ain't a really – I got some bounce, but I'm not super bouncy. I'm going to leave that to, like, Kobe and them. But How do you think, what do you think Kobe's going to do? Uh, he probably do some crazy stuff, man. He's talking about jumping over somebody, so – We'll see he's why. always jumping over somebody. <laughs> he's always jumping over. He's going to jump over somebody again. Yeah, so I'm excited to see that. But if I'm in the scrimmage, though, I'll get a little windmill or something. But I'm excited to see what Kobe does. All yeah. right, man. Yeah. Hey, we're going to go in and we're going to check it out. But uh, hey, thanks, Tay, for stopping thanks, by. Good to see you again. All right, man. You yeah. too, big dog. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> What's the influence of basketball? When did you first start? I started playing when I was seven years old, and who really influenced me to play were, I'd say my mom, my parents, and the players that I really looked up to was definitely Kobe Bryant. I'd, I'd always watch his games, always go on YouTube, look it up, um, look, look up his highlight games, and I, all, I also watched um, Christy Tolliver. She went to University of Maryland. She was the point guard for the Sparks. Um, yes, those are the two players I really look up to that really influenced me and helped me with my game. I chose CSUN because of the coaches and because it's closer to my family. And um, I just, I love the culture here and what Coach Flowers represents. And, um, you know, with, with Coach Flowers, it's more than just basketball. It's more about life and teaching us life lessons. And that's what I really, that's what I really love about everything here. All right, it's minute left, down by three. What are you telling yourself to get this win? Jeez, just, 
I don't know, you know, just trusting, just trusting the process and trusting my abilities at like putting the work, the, all the work that I put in every day, just trusting that and knowing that when it comes down to that time to trust myself and trust everyone around me. And with your team, you guys all work hard, but tell me who's really putting in the extra effort that you could really notice from last year to this year? You know, I, I'd say Shannon Fluker. Um, she, she's so dominant. She's been so dominant ever since she's came in her freshman year. But definitely this year, she's you know gotten in the gym early in the mornings and because I come I come super early. I come at like five five in the morning to get up shots and and um, just she you know she's been in there as well and I that's and she's finally she's finally know she's finally getting what it takes to you know be at that next level to get to where she wants to go. You know she's so talented and she's she's so good. You know but talent can only take you so far you know it's all about the work you put in because like what you put in you is what you get out and she's finally figuring it out and I'm, I'm really proud of her and she's definitely gonna have a great year Are you going to contribute? All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, count it down. Five, four, three, two, one, go! All right, he's shooting for five early. Okay, here we go. Cure for one. That was terrible, Cure. That's all right. You got to help rebound, too. Oh, he's got five on the board. 20 seconds. He's going for four. Almost. Come on, Cure. Oh, that was terrible, Cure. Here we go. Shoot for five more. Here we go. Tell me, what are you telling yourself as a freshman coming in here? Um, as a freshman coming in, just really, first thing first, just working my hardest I ever, I ever did in my life. Um, I'm starting all over, so I gotta basically create a new path for myself. Everybody here on the team was good wherever they were, and um, I'm a good player too, so just going as hard as I can and just setting myself apart so everyone else can follow me. And um, we've seen you in the circuit, we've seen you in Los Angeles, we've seen you play high school ball. Uh, it's a different story now. You're in college. Uh, what are you telling yourself mainly to get out of these next four years? Out of these next four years, I want to get a degree. You know, of, uh, obviously, I want to get a degree. Um, I want to set myself up off the court, but I really want to uh, on the court just perform to the fullest, um, get better year by year, um, and just really just lead my team to the NCAA tournament. That's my goal. Who's helping you out right now? Okay. Um, after practice, I'm staying back with the um, team managers. They're really helpful, uh, rebounding for me, making I get my shots up. Um, also, I work out with my brother, Deshaun Gomez, um, when I can. He comes out here and helps me. And um, I'm working out with a guy also in the summer named Lorian Watkins. He, he's helped me also. He's a big part of why I'm here, too. He helped me a lot, out, he helped me a lot with my game. What do you want to do and get a major in? Um, I want to get a major in liberal studies. Um, my backup plan as of right now is to become a principal. You know, that's my backup, but I, first thing first, you know, I just want to make money playing basketball. That's, that's my ultimate goal, so. Um, I like to, when I have free time, I like to hang out with friends. Um, I'm a real cool guy, and I also like to, people don't know, I like to roller skate. I really roller skate a lot. Like, that's my hobby. 
I really roll. Wait, wait, what? Roller skating, really? Yeah, yeah, I really roll. Hey, roller skating. Yeah, people don't know, but it's like a getaway for me off the court. You know, I really love to roller skate, so. And a lot of people don't know roller skating is actually good on your joints. Yeah, I, I guess. I just love to do it, so. Um, people that you uh, focus your game after, who, who do you watch? Who do you mold yourself after? Um, I watch Chris Paul, Nate Robinson. Um, I watch a guy named Pooh Jetter. Um, and now that's, that's uh, oh yeah, um, Casper Ware. I watch him also, and that's pretty much who I watch. What were you doing in high school to just get to a college that you could better yourself? Oh, in high school, man, um, obviously I went to Inglewood. Um, I just stayed focused. No, no matter what it had going on, I was always on my own path. Um, always did what I wanted to do. At lunchtime, everybody was having fun, doing other things. I was in the gym shooting at lunch. Um, senior year, I only had four classes. So the last two hours of school, fifth and sixth period, um, I'm thankful the PE coaches let me stay in the gym and shoot also, so I'll be there. So I just stayed in the gym pretty much and just made sure I, my, my academics were straight, you know, and that, that was pretty much it. And everything else worked itself out. What are you guys going to do? How, how are you guys going to change the culture here at Carl State Northridge? Um, first of all, we can start off with um, Tavrion. He's a great player, stretch four. You know, he can do it, put it on the ground, shoot the jumper. Um, and he helps me out a lot at practice. Um, also, we have um, Reggie, Reggie uh, Jr. He knows, obviously, what you know, we want to do. He's the coach's son. He knows what our objective is as a team. He knows what we want to do. Swan's very, a very athletic slasher. And we have Kobe that won't be playing this year, but he actually shocked me about how good he is. You know, he, he came to practice. First practice, he showed me how good he was. And I'm excited to play with him the next year when I'm a sophomore. Hey, I know it's just going to be incredible, man, and uh, I wish you luck. And I know I'm going to catch you at more of these games, but uh, thanks for stopping by Quick 11 Hoops. And, uh, you know, it's, what was it, like five years ago yeah, we did the same thing? Of? I was younger. I was like eighth grade, eighth grade. Well, we, were in, uh, we were in Compton somewhere. I forgot. Linwood, Linwood, Linwood. We were in Linwood High School. Yeah. Hey, good to see you. Hey, dreams do come true. Yeah. I'm glad you're here, and I know you're just going to get better and better, man.
Playing at Cal State Northridge has been great, man. I mean, I enjoy it. You know, I was born and raised in Los Angeles, so I mean, being being back home, you know, being back, you know, being back where you know all my support is and all my love is. I mean, it's it's been good. It's been great, man. I mean, it's been it's a great school. It's a great campus. Great great atmosphere. Great fans. Great students. All the way to the academics. I mean, everything has been great. And I mean, I've learned a lot about learned a lot from it. So I mean. Getting a lot out of it. Who do you want to give a special thanks to that's helping mold you and the person and player you are right now? I do want to start off with my family, my mom, my sisters, and my dad. I mean, without without my family, I'd be nothing, man. I mean, the support, the love, the lessons, everything. I mean, it's been I mean, it's been deeply appreciated, and I let them know all the time how much I love them and appreciate them for that. But I mean, I mean, anybody that has supported me. And anybody that, you know, I have a personal relationship with, I mean, I appreciate all of y'all. I mean, it's, it's I've, all I've gotten is, is love and just support. So, I mean, it's, everybody's, everybody's had my back through, through my dark moments. I mean, it, it's just, appreciate a lot of people, man. I don't know. It's hard. But uh, my family, my friends, everybody, man, I love y'all. All right, man. Well, we appreciate Reggie for stopping by. Back then and now, Definitely. we know he's just gonna kill it. Definitely. And hey, check out Cal State Northridge. Let me see, let me see, let me see.